What do you got, Brittany? I don't know. Is it big or what? Yeah. We're cooking some chicken noodles. You guys excited to go do a little ice camping or what? Yeah. Yeah? Where are we going? Lake of the Woods. Heck yeah, we're going back to Daddy's hometown. What else are we going to do? Hockey Day in Minnesota? Yeah, that's going to be fun. That'll be fun, huh? Yeah. Fun. All right, well, how many fish are we going to catch? A hundred. A hundred? Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. All right, well, we're heading up north, heading to my parents' place. Um, to spend the night tonight, and then we're gonna head out early tomorrow morning and get everything set up for ice camping. Um, Hockey Day, in Minnesota, huge deal for you know. I grew up in that neck of the woods in Salo, which is right next to Warroad. Um, so you know, the whole hockey heritage up there is a huge deal for for everybody. So um, pretty excited to be doing it. Can't wait. It's gonna be a fun weekend. And uh, Ashley's actually not with us. She is actually on her girls' ice fishing weekend. So um, she'll be doing that. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go have some fun. All right, well, we just made it out here. And uh, we actually came out of Zippo Bay. Um, we're gonna set up camp here. We're sitting in about 28 feet of water. We just got out here. We're gonna get everything set up, ready to rock and roll. Um, it's gonna be a fun weekend. My family's coming out here. My dad's got his house just on the other side there. So we're gonna hang out with a bunch of family. We're gonna go to Hockey Day Minnesota tomorrow. We're just gonna go hang around. We're gonna have an awesome fun weekend doing a little ice camping and taking in uh, a pretty cool event that doesn't happen very often. In fact, maybe once in a lifetime here in World Minnesota. So stick with us. It's gonna be an awesome, awesome weekend. You guys excited? Yeah. Yeah, yeah should we catch some fish? Go yeah. do some Hockey Day Minnesota? Yeah. All right, let's get set up and uh, we'll get everything uh, organized. <laughs> what do you guys think? It's so cozy. Is this gonna be fun or what? Yeah. Yeah? All right, well, we got everything all set up and we're ready to rock and roll. So now we're just gonna try and catch some fish for supper. <laughs> yeah, I got them. Get them. I got another one down there. Brindley, you wanna catch one? Yeah. Hold on, get ready. Get ready. Here he comes. Hold on. What is he, Braylon? I don't know. You don't know yet? Ooh, Ooh nice saga! saga. Oh, I don't like it. Look at us. that, hold that thing up! Lake of the Woods? On Lake of the Woods! <laughs> A ginormous crappie! That's unreal! How can that happen? That's crazy! That cool, nice work, it. kiddo! That's a good crappie. Wow. There's two of them in there. And yep. uh, there's actually more down there. Here, let's see if we can't get, get another down. one. Get them. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? got nice soccer. Oh, nice oh, walleye. Oh, oh. I don't know. We're Is about nice to find out soon. Yeah? It looked big on the ground. Oh, I can see it. Oh, nice oh. walleye. Yeah. It's a walleye. It just happened. Nice walleye. <laughs> Heck yeah. Crushed it, huh? Yep. Nice. Heavy, too. Yeah. Heavy. You guys are hammering them. <gasps> oh. oh, nice soccer, Brittany. Oh, that is so that's big. a really nice sauger. He's walking everywhere. What do you think? That is pretty good. All right, we're gonna cook some lunch. We're gonna have some soup. You guys excited for some soup? Yeah. First time cooking on our new stove. Look at that. What do you guys think of that? That's cool. Isn't that cool? Oh, and then you just put your pan on there. Pop the old soup open. Look at that. Mm-mm, chicken noodle. And you just pour it on in. Look at that. Yeah, that looks good. Doesn't that look good? Mm. When, when you forget, forget your forks, forks use, use your cold snap toothpick. To there! Yeah! Oh my gosh, Dad! It's a Dad, good one. What is it? I know, it's a big one. Can you get the deucer? Yep, yep, I'll get Where the deucer. I'll get the deucer. <laughs> oh my 
gosh. It's a good one, Braylon. Good hook set, honey. Nice work, kiddo. Here we go. It was a good one. It looked really big on the screen. It's coming up. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's right there. There he is. Pull up. Pull up. Oh, look at the size of that sucker. Oh, my gosh. Holy buckets, kiddo. <laughs> oh, my goodness, honey. Holy. Hold that sucker up. That's a big sucker. Got him? Yep. Get in there. Hold him up. <laughs> All right. Well, we had a fun day crushing fish and eating some lunch and we got everything set up and organized and we are going to head into Hockey Day, Minnesota. We are going to go to the alumni game tonight and it is dedicated to the Max Marvin Foundation, which is one of the main topics that we wanted to touch on on this video. We're going to have an interview with Conway Marvin and we will explain to you what that is. But for right now, we're going to head on in the town and we're gonna go check it out it's gonna be awesome we cannot wait super excited all right what's going on everybody you got john and conway marvin here we are at hockey day in minnesota beautiful day out here and such an amazing event for the community um and you know what Last night was really special for you guys as well as far as being, um, you know, we had the alumni game, which was pretty much dedicated to the Max Marvin Foundation. Why don't you give us a little rundown on what that is, Conway, for the people who don't know what that is. Absolutely. And, and first, before that, John, thanks for being here. Thanks for being part of it. You're right. Hockey Day Minnesota is a big deal. It's a really big deal when you get up in northern Minnesota. Yeah. But um, that's that being said, uh, the Max Foundation was created um, after our nephew and, and uh, son and and brother Max Marvin when he took his life by suicide. And when that happened, um, the family made a decision that to do nothing was not an option. And we created the, uh, the foundation in his name, the Max Marvin Foundation. And our focus is to educate people on the seriousness of mental health, um, especially with our kids, and to raise funds and reinvest those funds and programs and curriculum that address mental health with our children. Whether it be in a school or in a sports setting or in the outdoor setting, it doesn't matter. It's, yeah. That's what we're all about. And you know, mental wellness is something that kind of has been kind of hidden for years. And it's, yeah. this is why this is such an amazing foundation because it's bringing that to light. And you know what? It's, it's sometimes it's almost like you don't want to wait till it's too late, right? So yeah. that's the whole purpose of this foundation. It's an amazing foundation that is making a true difference within not just the world community, but a community as a right. whole. Right. And it's really awesome to see. And so for you people out there that don't know what the Max Foundation is, we're going to drop a few links um, in the coming weeks to show you guys what it is. If there's any way you can help out to contribute to that, it is an amazing foundation that is helping kids all over the place. And it's just, it's an awesome thing that you guys are doing and to have hockey day in minnesota right. and to have a tribute to max like that i mean this yeah. is the stuff he loved was hockey and outdoors so yep. could yeah, have been very a better fitting. very yeah. fitting and, and again we we certainly appreciate it and you're absolutely right you know mental health isn't something that you talk about no you break your collarbone you blow out your knee you break a leg you, you talk about it and you go get a fix but mental health isn't so you're, you're absolutely right it's got to be talked about 100%. Um, we got to get on the open and 100%. we got to open it up and when we do that we start making progress yeah 100 percent. so we're gonna drop a few links you guys can check it out but just an amazing foundation give it a give it your support and help everybody else out and uh, we'll be chatting with you soon how did you guys sleep last night i'm good you sleep good last night <laughs> <Pretty sick. laughs> What do you got, Braylon? I don't know. You got a good one? Yeah. Brindley just pulled up a nice sauger. What do you got, Braylon? Oh, nice sauger. <laughs> nice. Good job, girls. Good sauger. Heck yeah. Another good sauger. Good job, girls. All right, let's get back down there. They're starting to bite. All the way down. And then wiggle it. And now, there, Brindley, go. Real, you got him. He ate it. He ate it, Brindley. <laughs> he ate, is it a good one? Yeah. Oh, he's fighting good. Holy buckets. Wow. <laughs> Did he eat it right off bottom or what? Yeah. Nice. Oh, nice sauger. Another nice sauger. <laughs> good job, Brinny. Well, fishing was awesome, and we got everything packed up. We're going to head into town. And, you know, what an awesome opportunity to be able to take my girls up to my hometown Go to Hockey Day Minnesota, ice camping, 
catch up with Conway, talk about how awesome Max Foundation is and how important it is. You know, if there's any way possible that you can help donate to this foundation, be really, really appreciated. I'm going to drop a link in the description of this video, but this foundation is truly making a difference and you can make a difference as well. But just overall, the whole weekend was a blast and uh, it's a trip that uh, the girls and I will never forget. Just so awesome. Thanks for watching and we can't wait for the next one.